happy Saturday to all of y'all beautiful people, man. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I just wanted to address this real quick, all right? So Chris did go live on Instagram, all right? He had some things to say, and people were bombarding him with raffle questions, car raffle questions. Of course, he was in the car that was supposed to be raffled and all of this, okay? So Chris did get a little upset saying, hey, I've already told y'all what the deal was and y'all keep asking me, what's going on with this raffle and keep telling me that I'm scamming and shit like that, right? So basically he was saying, and you'll see in the live, he was saying that he already picked a winner or the, the system already picked the winner. He reached out and emailed the winner hella times, okay? The winner has never hit him back. My thing is, he said he can't pick another winner. He can't go in the system and pick another winner. So he has to figure out how to do that. If that is true, all right, I do feel like, I do feel like there is a certain level of transparency that needs to be taken into effect when people are spending their money with you. I said it before and I will continue to say it, all right? So if you did email that person or reach out to the, the website, the raffle creator, creator people, why don't you show proof and receipt to that so people can get off your ass, you know? Not saying that you need to prove it to anybody, but you kind of do need to prove it to the people who actually spent their money with you, okay? That's my personal opinion. So if people actually saw, oh, he did reach out. Oh, you know what I'm saying? He's waiting on a response from the raffle creator people to actually pick a second person, all right? Um, I don't know how long it takes for that person to write back, like the actual first winner. I don't know how long they have to where it's like, okay, it's gotta go to the next person, but whatever time frame that is, you need to figure that out, all right? And maybe he's already reached out to the raffle creator people to figure out how to move forward with that process. But I will say this, if this man keeps that car, that's going to look like a scam. It is a scam if you said that X amount of people, hey, y'all enter this raffle and I'm raffling off my car, okay? Somebody's gonna get a car at the end of this. If nobody ever gets the car, it's a scam. It's a scam, all right? And I fuck with Chris, but I'm also gonna tell it like it is, all right? It is what it is. And like I said before, when people trust you and put money in your hands and say, look, I trust that Chris is going to follow through with whatever he said this is, and he doesn't do it, you know, like you're going to, people are gonna lose faith in you. And some people are fine with that. Some people are okay with getting away with a scam, you know? They really don't care about their supporters or whatever the case may be. It does seem like Chris does care about his supporters, all right? But at the same time, I do feel like there needs to be more transparency regarding the situation, especially when you know people have spent their hard earned money, once again, to enter some shit, and they really don't have any proof of what you're saying being true or not, okay? So that's just how I feel. I know how I would handle it, but everybody handles things different, okay? I'm not saying my way is the right way, but me, I wanna let people know for sure, okay? Look, here's a screenshot of the email that I sent, blah, blah, blah. They told me it's gonna take X amount of time, so they're gonna choose a second winner, and boom, boom, bam. And I assure you that somebody will win this car. You know, there's no, there's no really any assurance. It's just, oh, I emailed this person. They never emailed me back. Okay, cool. So what's next? What's next? And I think that's the biggest thing, biggest question that people have, all right, is what's next? It can't be, oh, well, they never hit me back, so I guess nobody wins, and I keep driving around my car, and I didn't got everybody's money, you know? Like, at least refund them people, because at a certain point, people are gonna start, um, what you call it, like calling their banks, to say that this is an unauthorized transaction, all right, for fraud and stuff like that. Kind of like the CJ so, so Cool situation. CJ So Cool situation is different though because I feel like his shit was legit, but previous raffles, they got mad that they didn't win and apparently um, they called their banks and said it was a fraudulent charge, which is not true. If you didn't win, you didn't win, okay? Everybody can't win. So don't call your bank in that type of situation. But in this situation with Chris's raffle, it's like, you're not giving me much. You're not giving me a time frame. I haven't seen any proof on, you know, the next steps, how we're moving forward. All you're telling me is there is a winner. The winner ain't hit me back, okay? Maybe you reached out to raffle creator to find out how to pick a second winner. There's going to come a point to where niggas is gonna start calling their banks and you might not be able to do another raffle on this website again. You know, it ruins your credibility and all of that. So 
guys. That's my personal opinion. Like I said, I fuck with Chris, I do, but I have to keep it true, all the way true. I wouldn't be me if, you know, I didn't tell you exactly how I felt about the situation. All right, so y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. I'm gonna show y'all the live stream. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that shit. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell they ain't your mom and tell they uncle Joey's still a hoe. Let's get right into the live video, man. Love y'all. <clears throat> Yo, so somebody just told me. All right, look, somebody just told me, like, you gotta be around motherfuckers to network. You wanna expand. To somewhat, that's true. But you got to understand, I don't want to be around no fake motherfuckers. I don't understand how you niggas like to be around niggas who talk behind your back. <laughs> don't really fuck with you like that. And you know they don't. But you around niggas. Like, like what's the point of being around like people like that? The fuck? Like, you don't got to network. You don't got to be around a lot of people to network. Oh, God, you don't. I don't know what motherfuckers be talking about. You don't got to be around a lot of motherfuckers to network. I don't like to be around people. Motherfuckers is fake as fuck. Niggas will come around you. He, he, ha, ha, all buddy, buddy. Nigga, bro, I don't know how niggas tell me they love me. They just beat my ass. Bro, I love you, bro. Nigga, no, you don't. What type, what type of weird shit you on, my nigga? Like, you probably didn't even tell your mama you love her today. And you telling me a whole stranger you love him. That's how weird niggas is on God. That's what I'm saying. Like, niggas be weird. Niggas be having secret agendas. Motherfuckers be opportunists. Motherfuckers don't know. Hey, they just want to They just wanna go anywhere the money or the bag at or, or the clout at. That's why niggas confused nowadays because niggas don't know what they want in life. That's why I don't got to be around all that bullshit. I'm not about to be around no nigga who don't know what they really want in life, who around any nigga with clout just so he can get on or just so he can get a bag. I'm not like that, nigga. I'm not about to be around no nigga like that on God. Fuck all that. You feel me? So I'm not with none of that shit. Get off my. Never mind. Let me shut up. I'm not even gonna say nothing. Who is savvy? Who is savvy? Bro, nobody scam. No raffle. My nigga, I told y'all what the. I told y'all what I did, and y'all still talking about some scam. Like, I told y'all what I did. Like, the hell? I told y'all I emailed the lady. Like, I don't got to lie about that shit. Y'all keep saying that shit. Like, get off my dick. Like, y'all keep saying that lame stuff. I already told y'all what happened. Like, I already did. And y'all keep talking about this, bro. I'm not about to keep telling y'all. Who is savvy? Hey, how you doing? Um, can I get the pineapple shit? You, you taste that before? You like really it or not? Yeah, I like it. Okay, I'm going to try that one. Anything else? Pick another person. I can't. That's what I'm trying to tell you. No, thank you. I can't. I don't know how to pick somebody else. I don't know how to pick somebody else. Because the system picks it. I got to go back in and see. It only picked one winner. You want to try to make sure it works before you leave? Because um, we don't give any refunds. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a nice day. Right. Okay, you too. Thank you. You're welcome. I need my...
What y'all talk about in this law? Right, bro. I don't got. I'm not, bro. I already told y'all what happened, and y'all still talking about some scam. Now that's messed up. After I already emailed the pe- person multiple times, and like that's not fair. Like y'all gotta chill on that. Like for real, because I don't got no problem blocking. I really don't. I don't got no problem blocking y'all. Show it then. Who's Cold December? Cold December, you getting blocked? Sorry. Why y'all keep making these fake accounts? Like, why y'all making all these fake accounts? Y'all weird. Do a new round. You know what? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. How to, and I'm scamming. I ain't even low key. You want me to be honest with y'all? What are these little kids doing? Hold on.